Hi, it's Hugo Hamilton, and I'm going to read from a short story called The Homesick Industry. It describes a place where I used to work in the 70s called Gay Lynn. It was an Irish language speaking organisation where it felt like being in a different country, right in the heart of the city of Dublin. The Homesick Industry. <clears throat> I've got a job in the city now in a company that manufactures Irish products both for the home market and for export. Traditional music, language lessons, dancing records, tin whistles, iron sweaters, the lot. I'm the distribution manager, so I can see these products being sent all over the world. Even as far away as China, there are homesick people who think of Ireland every day. People are tearing the paper off to take out the books and start speaking Irish again like babies. People in tropical places like Cairns, Australia, sitting under palm trees in the heat with the sound of strange birds all around them, putting on dancing CDs and working out the steps. One, two, three, one, two, three. For a moment, you get the impression that the whole world is homesick. I can see them up there in Alaska, wearing thick iron sweaters under their parkers, and holding small tin whistles to their frozen lips. Frozen fingers pressing out the first warped notes and bringing back the faraway feeling of home. <laughs>